Hello again everybody and welcome back to Letton Farm. Yeah, we've got this trailer here, which really should not be here. I dropped it off in a hurry to uh, get the tractor for whatever reason, can't remember now, but yep. Yeah, we'll attach the trailer to there and we'll put it away somewhere suitable. I think probably actually it's going to have to just go in the sheep field anyway. Maybe if I move the uh, 135 through space. But yes, my priority really is to work in this grass field here because what I want to do is make some silage bells I think it would be a, a great way of boosting our bank account I'm not really progressing here am I it's incredibly tight and there is a fence just there yeah the only issue is we're going to have to somehow wrap these bells without being able to afford the wrapper which is going to be next to impossible now I do have one thing which I can sell which is obviously going to give us a fair bit of money and that is the wool I do have quite a bit of wool it is only about half a pallet but even so if the price is right that's going to really pay off so we do have the old Matty Ferguson pallet fork for this front loader I think it is going to fit obviously at the moment I have the bell spike so if I just lower that down I should hopefully be able to drop it off there we go and yeah I'm really hoping to be able to fit this onto here now it was only I think in the previous vlog where I said we might be able to respray it it would cost money but we might be able to respray it to blue unless I can live with the the strange color scheme which is going to be Massey Ferguson red with the blue but I, I guess it's just going to look quite unique and it would seem a bit silly to waste money at this stage when I don't even have that much money so yeah we're just going to stick with that for the time being and you can see it's not too bad, it looks a little bit out of place, but it's fine. Anyway, yes, uh, I think we really should go for these wall pilots just over here. As you can see, we have two full sacks, so that should be alright. And my sheep are very happy, they're continually eating, they're very hungry things. Um, I don't see them over at the water too much, but yeah, they must be drinking, because it keeps going down. Uh, it doesn't rain much either, so the rain isn't going to fill it up a great deal. Anyway, you keep eating everybody. Plenty more food to come. We might have to buy some more food soon or make some more food. I suppose, yeah, if I just don't wrap some of the bales, they will just be grass bales, which I can give to them. Anyway, yes, let's go and... Uh, I suppose I could contact the, uh, the spinnery to see what their current price is for wool. The details are inside. Right, well, I have just spoken to them, and they say they are currently offering just less than £6,500 for 1,000 litres of um, of wool. So that sounds pretty good to me. I don't know how much we have exactly. Must be, well, it's half a crate. So <laughs> yeah, that gives it away. But it doesn't give away how much money we're gonna make. Now what we really do need here is at least 5,000 pounds in total to be able to repay the mortgage in a couple of days. Cause yeah, I think it's two days until the repayment is due. Um, and yeah basically anything above that is good good to have but yes five thousand pounds in total we don't need to make five thousand from it but we do need to of course have some money available for doing something with a bale wrapper if it means leasing it we need to be able to afford the lease on that I think renting is a good thing to do oh they took away the uh, the mobile building a few days ago for the auction but as you can see, I cut the grass so well, it's not even started to regrow yet. Anyway, I must get this to them before they change their prices. Oh, goodness me, who's that? Dennis. Why is... Dennis is right here in this pub. I'll have to read that in a minute. Okay. Well, here we are. This is the spinnery. I can take that. And we have made £4,405 from that. that. That sounds pretty good to me, meaning we now have in our bank account £8,287. Right, let me just pull over here. Let's just uh, read this text message. Dear Dagwin, please come to my pub fast. How interesting. I don't like Dennis's games. They're always very strange. Well, since we are literally the other side of the road from his pub, I suppose I better do. This better not be some silly game, though. I really do not have time for games. I want to be able to go and start mowing the field. 
And also, we need to get some more crops in as well. I have two fields, I think. Yeah, one field has been cultivated. It's ready for a crop. And the other field has just got stubble in. Uh, that needs to be cultivated and drilled. Anyway, Dennis, let's see if you're going to respond. Hey, hello, Darwin. Come in. Oh, do we have to go in? I bet it's the right dump in here. Wow. It actually seems okay. Dennis, what is all this? Um, <clears throat> you see, this isn't actually my real voice. This is my real voice. I'm sorry, this must be very confusing for you. The thing is, I am actually working undercover for the police. I've been investigating Gary Turner for some time. Now, I know that we have had our differences. This was all intentional. I'm trying to keep up my character and uh, trying not to cause suspicion to give away my position. Dennis, what is all this? You know perfectly well that you're a farmer who owns a pub, you own that farm, you have old machinery, I accidentally set fire to your combine apparently, and you own a pub, you run a pub. What do you mean you're undercover for the police? Well, that's the thing you see, it was very difficult to create this disguise. I was very fortunate that my family farm actually had some old machines that still work, and I could make it look like I was actually running the nearby farms. That is why my slurry spreader is made of wood. I know, I thought that would give it away. As for the combine harvester, again, it was my family farm's combine. Uh, my, my parents move away, but we do still own a piece of land round here. Now, I must tell you, keep clear of Gary Turner. Also the Youngs. I don't know what it is about them, but there's something not quite right. Now you must promise, do not tell anybody that I'm working undercover. Do you hear me? Of course. So what about the tractor that was at my farm? What do you know about it? Not too much, actually. That is the only tractor that I am unsure about. You say you found it in an underground bunker. That in itself is suspicious. What were you thinking? You should not have even attempted to remove it from there. Well, it, it was in my land and it's a free tractor. What can I say? I can see your point, but even so, yes. Just keep clear of him. If you ever see him, let me know. He's trouble. He might come across as a frail old man trying to sell off food, but I can tell you, he's a master criminal. And what about the Youngs? Like I said, I'm investigating them. I can't tell you any details. But, well, I suppose I can say that I don't think Mrs. Young is involved. Don't mention anything. Now go. Leave here. Make you look like you've just had a pint. I can look drunk, I suppose. Blah, 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 blah. Nothing to see. Yes, I've just been for a drink. Okay. Well, that was interesting. I don't know how I've not noticed anything at all. This joke of a person, Dennis, who couldn't even put his own Christmas lights up. It turns out it was all an act. Can you believe it? That man has annoyed me more than anybody around here. Turns out he's probably one of the best people. Dennis Jenkins. Not even his real name. Can you believe it? Well, I don't know what to do about the Youngs because <laughs> he doesn't even know himself, apparently, although he's not going to give too much away. And Gary Turner, we live in his house for crying out loud. Some criminal. Although maybe he was just stopping off here, not too sure. Or part of an act, it would appear. Well, we can't let this get in the way of uh, running the farm. I must continue. I must get this field cut. So that's what we're going to have to do. I don't know if we're going to hear from Dennis again. Um, but that is not what I was expecting when I woke up this morning. In fact, that was not what I was expecting at all, ever. I, I never thought that that would happen. I thought Dennis was just some crazy local who just wanted to keep himself to himself and just had some kind of grudge against us continually, but apparently it is uh, not quite as simple as that. Right, so I'm going to drop that off there. What we're going to do is, uh, we're going to get this mower just here. I think we should be alright with this tractor. 390T. Take the PTO off and we will start the engine and hitch it onto that. Now, obviously the field has reduced in size because I have taken some of it uh, for our 
garden area. Uh, as I speak about the garden area, I must just say the corn has now gone over, so that's going to have to be cultivated back in. And, well, the canola is kind of hanging on. Most of the seeds have actually fallen out. So, I probably shouldn't have even planted it, but it was interesting to, to do it. Looks like I've put the seed drill a bit too close. The seed drill is going to be used very soon for those two fields. Okay, I have to move that. 135 to the rescue. And I should probably keep it on here because I'll, I'll most likely be using it on this tractor next anyway. We don't need to have a bigger, heavier tractor attached to the cedar. I want to replace it, but again, we just can't afford it at this stage. But as soon as we can do, we can look at upgrading various things. I wonder if that's going to be enough space. There's a plow behind me, which I don't want to uh, hit too much. There we go. Now, is that going to be enough space to get around the corner? It should be, but it is a very wide mower. As you can see, yeah. I don't think it's offset, I think it is all folded up. It's just very tricky to uh, manoeuvre. Yeah, if we if we do that, the hydraulic should move across. There we go. And we'll get this thing engaged. It was actually down, that would explain why it was a little bit tricky to get around the corner. Right, so yeah, like I say, it has been reduced in size, not by much, it is still going to be a big field, it'll take a while to cut, but if we can just, you know, do it all in one go, it would just save so much time, so much messing around, and then we should be able to just get it bailed as well. I might possibly look into rowing it up, since we now have a much bigger baler, but it's all extra expense, which we probably can't even afford. If we're leasing, if we lease something fairly cheap and old, it should be affordable, but yeah. It just comes down to what it is exactly. It's unlikely to be a brand new windrower, but if the price is right, it can be. Anyway, I'm going to just cut the whole field, get it all done. It's going to take a while. This <laughs> mower is fairly small. It would be so nice to have a, a mower on the front. Again, it's another expense, something else we can't afford at the moment, but in the future, maybe things will change. Well, I have almost finished, and it's taken a while, it's not too long, um, but yeah, it's definitely going to be worthwhile this, because we already know how much money we can make from grass and silage and all that kind of stuff, so providing I get it when the price is right, we're going to be, uh, well, we're not going to be rich, that's for sure, but we might be in a position to completely pay off the mortgage. If we can, if we can do that, that's great, it means we are free. Um, if we suddenly have to move, for whatever reason, not planning on it, but if for some very strange reason we don't feel safe here, we can just put the house on the market and, you know, move. So, uh, yeah, it would just sort of give me peace of mind that we're not going to be stuck here forever. Now, hopefully, everything is under control, but I'm not filled with much confidence after what Dennis said, yes, it's very strange saying that. I know it's, it's Dennis, but it's not Dennis. It's just a false name. I wonder if it's a false chin as well, because his chin is very chunky. <laughs> I don't know. But, yeah, that would explain why he has no visitors to his pub. Every night, when you would imagine the pub would be open and doing quite well, totally shut. It's a mystery. I wonder if other locals know something. I wonder if Peter Wood knew something. Now he did say that that field, which we actually work in, 
did belong to his family. So that's how he managed to get away with claiming that he was a farmer. But as for everything else, I can't believe it. I never detected a thing. I, I never, you know, nothing. Nothing made me think, oh, that's somebody in disguise. I just thought it was grumpy old Dennis. Right, well, that is the majority of the field finished. What I do want to do is just go around the headland once and, you know, get as much as we possibly can do. Otherwise, we are potentially wasting. It could be two bales worth, and two bales could be worth quite a bit of money. Let's see how much there is here. It's more than a mower's width, but, yeah, we'll just take one mower. I don't want to be going too close to things, otherwise I'm probably going to get caught on them. As you can see, it really does add up. The areas that you miss, I don't know how much land it would be exactly, but it really is a substantial amount of grass. Anyway, yeah, once this is done, I don't know if we should row it up straight away, if we're going to row it up, since it's still going to be very wet. It doesn't want to be dry, though. I'm not looking to do hay. Um, but yes, it might just be a little bit too soon. But we can certainly go and take a look at the prices of windrows because I really do need to get something sorted out if we're going to be rowing it up. If we don't row it up, the bailing will take a long time. Probably as long as the mowing, actually, because it's basically the same ground covered. One mower's width is being put into one swath, and you have to follow each swath to be able to bail it up. So, yeah, I would prefer to row it if we can do. I want Peter Wood back, honestly. <laughs> he was such... Well, at least he appeared to be nice, uh, such a nice person, because he always allowed us to borrow machinery, and he was fair. And now I don't know who these people are. Who are the Youngs? Maybe they are just strange people. But it seems peculiar. Right, anyway, let's take this out of here. And we'll put it back in the yard. It really is a wide mower. Just about fits through. Reversing it is a different story though. That is really, really tricky. Because you've got Buildings either side. Get the turn. I probably should store it over the far side actually, but if I can get it here, that is a good place for it. Bit of space in front. Um, yes, that will hopefully be alright. There is a plough there too, and a fuel bowser. Yep, that should do it. Okay. Can I go back any further? Yep, I can go back a little bit more. This should be good. Okay, right, PTO. I know, I'll lower it down first. That'll make it much easier. Yeah, PTO. And then... Take it off here. Good. Okay, right. So, let's... It's three o'clock. Let's just go over to the uh, store. And see if we can... Uh, get a good deal. On a rent. Something to rent or something to buy. But I seriously doubt we're going to be buying something. We still have the uh, maize planter here. I don't know. If, well, I don't really know what to do with it because I'm hoping to do more with the garden. But at the moment, I'm a bit too busy. We still have to put the manure on as well. Many things that we need to do. Um, if I end up just neglecting the area, I think to save all the mowing, I'll cultivate this area and basically create a very small arable field. The combine harvester does fit in here, okay? So. It would be, you know, a sensible thing to do. Anyway, let's just open this up. Let's take my rope off. And we will have a nice drive over to the dealership. I must close the gate, though, because no doubt the sheep will try and go on vacation. They do like their holidays quite a bit. You see? Nothing, again. Nothing has happened. That tractor might have moved, but... Hardly anything has happened over at the Young's farm. And where are they? I wonder if we should do our own undercover work. Actually, yes. Dennis is going to hate me for it, but... I've got to take a look. What are they doing around here? You see, all those bales I put there for Peter Wood, none of them have been used. They have cows. So they must be feeding the cows. 
but nothing happens back here. If I just pull over here, I try and sneak around the yard in full view of the house there. Okay, sprint. See if anything has moved. So the tracks are just there. Nobody around. Nothing here. So, does that mean they have actually moved? Oh, there's a tractor there as well. Stay undercover. Yep. There's no action. Nothing moves. They've just brought in a load of older machinery. And they don't do anything with it. Nothing's happening in that field either. Well, in that case, I think what we're going to do is head off. Yeah, they bought that field for me, but they're doing nothing with it. Right. So, there is certainly something very strange about the way they operate. Obviously they're feeding the cows because otherwise the cows wouldn't be alive. And they must be giving some grain to the chickens, but that's all. Nothing else ever happens with them. And I'm very confused. But there are certainly some fairly strange people around. Let's hope these people are normal. Hello, normal people. Yeah, they're nice here. They're expensive, but they give you a cup of tea and everything. Uh, anyway, they've said that they might have a Windrow in by tomorrow, but today they only have the new stuff. Uh, I think they said it was £28,000 to buy a new one, which doesn't sound too bad, but obviously I can't afford it. Uh, they said it's up for lease if, if, if you want to take it, but yeah, I said, can you just try and get hold of something older so I can just lease that and they said they'll try their best so hopefully by tomorrow we do have something meaning today we've cut the field and it's going to, have to stay like that until tomorrow morning if it turns out that they can't get something in I'll see what the price is for the newer one if it's in my price range I will take it and we'll row it up if not we're just going to have to do everything the very slow way and bail every single swath without bringing it all into one big swath which is one I'd much prefer to do. But you can only really do things if you have the right tools, so... Yeah, if we can get the Windrow, great. If we can't, fair enough. We'll just have to do things a different way. Okay, right, we'll pants over here. Looks pretty good, though, the field. And we will close the gate, make sure the sheep don't escape. I think, actually, they could do with some food. So if I go and find another bale... I don't have many bales left, so it's a good job... We are getting some more. These are the very small conventional bales, so yeah, they're very easy to handle. Next time we're going to have to just use a front loader, but that is fine. We do have a bale spike, so we can just pick up a big round bale and give it to them. Here you go. Do you want more? I'd say they're okay. I, I think that is full enough. The other one is fine as well. So yeah, I, yeah, I'll, I'll close the gate, make sure they escape. And, uh, yeah, I think we'll leave it there. What is that?